Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues playing as New Sterling's Brotherhood. Now, as you can tell, we're looking pretty large. Um, last time we went to war with Moctezuma, or finished up a war with Moctezuma, as well as the NCR, but we're looking pretty darn amazing right now. We got a little bit of extra political power, so... Um, just go ahead and core whatever, I really don't care. It really doesn't matter to me. Oh, we can't really core pretty much of anything because we don't have enough political power. Whatever. Um, yeah, cool. So this will be the, hopefully the final episode in this campaign. As you can tell, we have someone who wants to call us to war. So between this episode and the last, I took out Ashton, Hopeville, and then I went to war with the She. And because of that, well, basically, I joined a faction, and I'm part of the Brotherhood of Steel. The Fourth Brotherhood has joined the Brotherhood of Steel. So, the Brotherhood of Steel made out really well when the Mojave chapter gave me advanced capabilities or advanced technology. Now, I've been waiting to go to war with these guys and... Pink? <clears throat> Thank you, Binky. Thank you. Um, that was Binky. He was just biting my clothes. Uh, let's see. Let's do... So basically, the Brotherhoods have been at war with the Troll Warren and basically the Master's New Army for a while. After I took out the Shi, I joined their faction. They kept demanding me to join them. But at this point, I'm ready to go to war and finish off this campaign. Uh, bombers, not bad. Do West Nevada. Ne Nevada. Nevada, Nevada, who cares? Um, however, I want to warn you guys. Also, I do have a navy. Costa down here actually wants to go to war with me for some reason. I made another army, and I have another army in preparation for whatever happens down here, but, uh, yeah, they were actually justifying against me, so we might end up in a war against these guys, but I'm not really going to see it through just because I don't really care to take out all of Mexico, because I already took out half of it. Just not really interested in taking these guys out. They are still missing a lot of equipment. I've been told they use mostly just ghouls instead of robots, which is cool. They have a lot of divisions, a lot of manpower. I'm now at war with the Master's new army, Cyclops Tribes, Brain's Wrath, Troll Warren. Western Brotherhood has definitely lost quite a bit. Also, the Master's new army is at war with the Shishon Nation, which is fine. And we do have some pretty good navies. Four battle cruisers, 26 light cruisers, not bad. Five battle cruisers, 19 light cruisers, and a battleship. That's not a very good template, but whatever. Assault craft, come on over here. Binky, take a nap. Take a nap now. Cool. And let's see how well they do against me, especially with when I have bombers in the air. Up, oh, and they're attacking me on this side, the strongest side. I might have rearranged my army a little bit, but, uh, yeah. They're not doing so well right now. They can pierce me, though, against the leaving numbers. Now, that's cool. Dweller Edmund. Can they pierce me a little bit, depending on who they are? Oh, true. Let's see, right here. Um, we can actually get rid of my fallback line since I finally went to war with these guys. Am I war with everyone? Yes, I am. That's very good. There you go. Now I can cover the entire front line very easily. Go and reorganize if you need to, which you really shouldn't need to at all. Northeast. Well, nothing's really happening down here, so do Western Nevada. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. They can't pierce me. I don't think they really would be able to. Keep an eye on all this stuff if we get attacked in the south. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I did realize that... I did ask why my tank divisions or my power armor divisions or one of my divisions was taking up extra, like, battalions, and I didn't realize that it was... What was it? The infantry divisions I made was using... Oh, or my tank divisions using power armor support. This counts as one special forces battalion. I didn't realize that. I'm going to keep them on, because why not? But, uh, didn't realize that. So, it's good to know. If you didn't know that... Now you might. Awesome. Throw you down here. Uh, yes, it is kind of a distraction. Milt the Diamond, level 5 guy. This is all just in case I might get attacked. Because they were justifying against me for quite a while. And I had to manually make sure that they did not come kill me. Because they have a core. Or, not a core, but they have a claim on Tempico? Tempica? Something like that. So, this is all in preparation. If they try anything too cheeky against us. Alright. 
Very nice. Um, you actually probably need one more there at least. Got a few more left. And one more robot. Obviously, I need more robots for this. Guadalajara. Probably need at least one more army here. Which is fine. We got enough supply. Thank God I'm actually using robots. I can actually produce some fairly easily. We got a lot. We got almost 200,000 doggos. That's awesome. Um, yeah, not bad. Um, finishing up a lot of naval stuff. I've almost completely finished up the entire naval tree here. Actually, all my trees, really. Uh, what's going on? Brotherhood has invaded up here. They're going to get killed. I'm not going to advance just because I don't feel like it yet. I want to see what they're going to do to me. Uh, I was hoping that they might actually attack. Oh, there they are. They're attacking me again. There they go. They can't really do very much against me. Troll Warren, well... I've killed 1.6 thousand of them, and the Brain's Wrath, well, I've killed about 12 and a half thousand of them. We can assume leadership of the faction, huh? Our country is substantially stronger than the current Brotherhood of Steel faction leader, the Western Brotherhood of Steel. At this point, I kind of didn't realize I wasn't leader. I've never done this before. I've never become the leader of a faction. Oh, it costs 200 political power. So, and other faction members will be blocked from assuming leadership for the next 180 days, or next half year. Cool. Awesome, yeah, that doesn't make any sense for them to be the leader of the faction when I have so many states under me, including half of Mexico. Also, they went to war with the Shoshone Nation, like I said earlier, and they're not doing super well against them. Which is fine with me. Um, I, just, I want to kind of enjoy this last, our final episode together in playing as the Iron Alliance, because... In about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, there's going to be another video uploaded as well, starting a new campaign. And I'm really excited to play that one. Really, really excited. Let's see. Dweller Jeremy. Oh, he looks so happy. But they can't do anything against me and my bad boys here. Uh, I know I put six armies on here. I really wish you'd become an organizer, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. All right. Thieving numbers. No, no. Joshua, no. Really good generals. Level 9 thieving numbers. Level 7, Matthew Miller. Um, they just can't penetrate me, which is awesome. Well, actually, they can't. They can't do anything about that. Level 7, Patricia Price, who leads a power armor group. And Milt Coins, who leads a lot of heavy robots. Do we have another two heavy robots? Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It's all in precaution. And I don't have another general, I believe. I can... Oh, I have... Some of these guys. Um, not infantry. Desert Fox would be better. Uh, we'll do Gilbert the Khan, just because I can use the other guy as a field marshal eventually. Not bad. Dive bombing? Sure, I'll take some dive bombers. Some more ground support? Yeah, heck yeah. Losses? Almost 23,000. Oh, the Shoshone Nation's killing them. Awesome. Uh, what is the manpower of these guys like? Not very good. Troll Warren. Not very good either. Shisho Nation. Not really good. Oh. Try playing attackers. Alright, it's about time we go ahead and uh, crush these yellow bellies. Alright, let's make sure we have a good old time. Hey everyone, good up. Oh, I was going to do an encirclement with my tanks. Also, I was given some divisions from the Mojave Brotherhood, but... Uh, their power armor really isn't as good as mine. They have fire team platoons and some chem companies. Whatever. Cool. You guys, you guys will probably struggle trying to break out of here. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. And besides, I can move my guys to actually make sure that you attack where I want you to attack properly. Even though you're technically already doing it. Uh, let's see. You guys, Northern Nevada. Nevada, Nevada, whatever. Awesome. And awesome. Alright, unleash hell. And there we go. We're struggling definitely on this side here. Kind of figured that would happen. But, really, the push from the east, that's what's going to break the, the enemies here. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, the counterattacks? No, no, no. Not against power armor. Not against really, really good power armor. Thank you, Mojave Chapter. Let's take a quick look, because this is the final episode 
We are doing about between 40 to 70 some, maybe even 80 some damage. I saw 100? Oh, they actually have some enemy planes as well. Okay, we have a few gliders ourselves. We only have 50. Uh, but we're still doing a good amount of damage to them. This is a, one of the rare campaigns I've actually seen the AI in Old World Blues. Currently, they just lost another division. Use planes. Now, they're not using a ton of planes, but they're using some planes. And that's pretty awesome. Finally seen them use some planes. Uh, 45,000? That's not high enough. Definitely not high enough. Uh, my ships really haven't found anybody to kill. They really don't need to do convoy raiding. I doubt we need to use them up here, but we could try. Could try. Uh, you guys come up there. These guys definitely need more screens. And we will divide this up appropriately. Good. Carson City. Vault City. Oh, Vault City is a frontline city, and I love it. Ah, uh, level 9 thieving numbers. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So I'll probably give the Western Brotherhood most of the coast up until the Myrlurk tribe. Oh, there it goes. Cyclops tribes. Shoshone Nation. I really don't care about them. They'll get maybe a little bit more of the northern stuff, perhaps. Maybe. Then again, the Troll Warren did declare war on them, and the Shoshone Nation really wasn't looking to get territory out of this, as far as I know. Maybe we'll give them a little bit. Just one piece. Oh, yeah. We haven't killed the Antelope tribes. Doesn't make any sense why they're still why they still exist. Oh, Vault City's encircled. Ah, uh, yes. Very nice interlinked systems. Well, oh, I put you all on that. Three at a time is a pretty good number. There goes the brain's wrath. Awesome. Even though I know I'm not paying attention attention to it at all yet. Good. Good. Oh, that's pretty much all you needed for that. Awesome. Now we might be able to store some more divisions in some places. Do that, do that. I know we got some extra tech we could use, but I don't think adding any more naval tech to my current navy is really going to help us out that much. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad when I research pretty much everything, except uh, a few choice items. That's okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Go ahead, guys. Just go right on ahead. And you guys kill these guys off. You know what? Maybe for funsies, we'll go to war with antelope tribes. Oh, wow. 140 days. Holy cow. Gonna take those guys out. And troll warrant, we must kill next. So, better fighting over Vault City is starting uh, to cease. New Sterling's Brotherhood is starting to clean up what's left of Vault City while the residents are unsure of what to expect from their new overlords. Who would have thought such a city could ever have been taken? I thought it could be taken. And that's why I did it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, the Brotherhood. Actually, naval invaded. Nice. Good job, guys. And when you guys get up there, so be it. Uh, you guys... I'm going to let my tanks rest. You guys come on down here. I don't want too much uh, badness to happen. I get rid of those divisions. They're not really good power armor divisions whatsoever. Supplies. we got ton of support robots. Combat robots. Tons of anti-tank. Demo equipment. Over 200,000 dogs, like I said earlier. Over 100,000 pieces of fire team weaponry. Almost a million pieces of infantry equipment. 30,000 pieces of power armor. Spec Ops equipment, which we've... I've not made any. But I just captured from enemies. Over 100,000 pieces. Just really, really good stuff. Even fighters are pretty good. Bombers could use a little bit more work, but whatever. Uh, that's just because, well... They keep getting destroyed when they might be getting shut down. While trying to do operations. So I'll let time go on. Uh, let's see. You guys can come up here. Oh, basic foundry. Very nice. Very nice. Come to Arroyo. Go to North Oregon. Y'all. Freeform close air support. I love the freeform uh, close air support. West Washington. Look at the range on these bad boys. It's so good. So good. Come to West Washington as well. Um, you guys come over here and do North Oregon. And y'all come over here and do West Oregon. 
Other things we could research. More ground support, plus 10%. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? More air superiority mission efficiency? Sure. Yeah, supply's pretty bad up here. Pretty darn bad. Holy cow. Oh, we have that. Do that. You might as well do that. Anywhere else we have territory. Ah, oh, beautiful. Vault City. Definitely want to boost you up. We're still missing enough. I think it was advanced components that we need. Losses. Not bad. We've lost about a thousand. That's pretty much to be expected. Troll Warren, of course, out of manpower, so... Uh, resources. We're still out of advanced components, but... Wait. The Mojave chapter can actually trade with me now. I can only get two? Two factories. Oh, no. One factory for two amount of composite materials. Holy cow. That's terrible. That's terrible. Carl, that's terrible. That's really, really bad. Troll Warrant. I doubt they have a lot of planes. We're not doing a lot of damage to them right now, though. That's okay. Things happen. Oh, you're standing by. There you go. You don't need to be standing by, you silly goose. Oh, we already have maxed out planes here. A best of lining, sure. That sounds really healthy. Not bad. Oh, the Brotherhood have their own ships here. Looks like probably 12 battleships, perhaps? It's maybe? Or maybe 12 battle cruisers, 30 some. A light cruisers and some destroyers. Oh, look at that. I love little blocks. You got this, guys. Just keep on trucking. Uh, if anything, I'll take you guys off the line. Uh, I'll let everyone else take them out. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Y'all can just surround antelope tribes. No antelopes here. And it helps reduce the supply issues around here. Oh, Klepto Two Face. You're not a logis logistic wizard, but we'll get adaptable. Yeah, if he could become an organizer, that'd be great. Love him to become an organizer, but I don't think he's going to really do that. He's level 6. We've got other things we could put in there, but whatever. Alright, guys. Keep taking him out. Oh, another tank division. Now, if we really want to steamroll these guys, I'd throw in the tanks here, and I will. Stats on the Antelope Tribes. A little bit of manpower, a few divisions, a few factories. Probably no power armor, probably no robots. You guys are still trying to get organized. Let you guys get organized first. And then we'll push up further north. They're already halfway to capitulation, not too bad. Not bad whatsoever. Let you guys get organized, get some planning in there. It looks like the Brotherhood has abandoned their own line... Probably to support their operations up north in naval invasion types of areas, which is... Oh, it's definitely the AI. Definitely the AI. Glorious. Ah, Men of Iron. I love Men of Iron. Oh, yeah. Your supply isn't very good. Come on, Brotherhood. Please help build up your supply. All right, just go ahead, and guys. We, got some, we should have enough bomber support, and they can't reinforce themselves that. They really shouldn't be able to do too much against us. They cannot pierce us. We have direct ground support. We're going to get a little bit more air support mission efficiency. Uh, formation fighting. Very good. Very good. Not a lot of divisions up here. Hmm. What if I decided to extend the line? There you go. Make sure you don't get encircled, guys. Oh! The capital's right there. Nice. Very nice. I don't think the Mojave chapter really deserves too much from this war. They have only done 1% of stuff. Uh, the capture of Warren. To do. Purge them from the lands. Beautiful. Always a good saying. Purge them. Purge them. Purge them. For they are... Well... Irradiated, probably. I guess you all could come down here. We still need to produce some infrastructure down here, but that's in the queue. Whatever. That's in the queue. Automated fire prevention system. Sounds pretty good. And then we can get some reinforced storage. 
Ah, finally some reinforced storage, the thing we've been waiting for all this time. I have way too many divisions down here. Antelope tribes. Three days. Three days. Ah, actually, where's the... Where are these other divisions? Hello? Oh. Oh! You're actually going south. Okay. I, I guess by adding in the front line, you actually kept going south. That's okay. Things happen. Whatever. No worries. <clears throat> these guys, though. Uh, I'd like it if you like to hurry up, please. That'd be great. Go ahead and kill these guys off. Arago, Arago. All right, let them get up to the line. Get a little bit of planning in. Fort Williamette. It looks like at least the brother divisions here actually have the port for now. That'd be good. Ah, oh, they actually captured the port up here too. Hmm. Naval invasion seem to be going well for the Brotherhood. Oh my goodness, you bunch of dinguses, you bunch of donguses. Oh my goodness, you're crazy. And this is why I assumed leadership over the faction. The first and pitman. Ah, oh, yes, crush them, crush them. 22 more robot divisions. I'm not even going to deploy on the line. That's okay with me. Alright, you guys should be good enough. Let's see if they'll attack me. No, didn't, didn't think they really would, so... Let's go and crush them. Ah, oh, yes. Almost not even fighting. Uh, I'm okay. You don't need to be called in the war. They're almost dead. They've lost 2,000 guys so far. 3,000, 4,000. Well, 5,000. Can we make it 6,000? 7,000? Okay. We made it immediately to 8,000. Followed up to... Come on. Make it 9,000. Make it 9,000. Yep. We made it 9,000. 10,000. 10,000. Do I got 10,000? Yes, we got 10,000. 11,000 maybe? 11,000? Yes, we got 11,000. 12,000? Oh, we hit 12,000. 13,000? Almost. Ah, oh, time to auction off Antelope Tribes. Thank you for your service. Uh, I don't really have that much more time in this campaign. If I go to war with these guys, how long would it take? This is just in case the war lasts a little bit longer. Nice. Nope and nope. Awesome. Let everyone flood the line up here and lose a lot of supply. And help make sure we don't get too much uh, bad supply. We'll do that. Strategic bombing? Of course we'll do some strategic bombing, because why not? We're all about that strategic bombing using our strategic bombers. Y'all can now come up here. Oh, no you don't. No you're not. Y'all come over here and do North Oregon. Uh, I mean, you guys are actually doing pretty well where, wherever you're already at. The war is almost done. We'll be home by Christmas. Yeah, I'll definitely be home by Christmas. It's May. <laughs> If we're not home by Christmas, I'm going to severely question what's going on here. Nice. We're done with that as well. Let's get some more water pumps. Come on, guys. Advance, advance, advance. These guys, like, have literally no strength. Okay, maybe not literally no strength, but they're really close to having no strength. Patrol Warren, you're so close. 93% of the way there. Come on, infantry. Oh, keep moving. You don't need a guard against the Shoshone Nation right now. I could take out the tribe, but I'm not really interested in that. Give me half of y'all. With their strength as bad as it is, they really just won't be able to stand up to us. Jet attack planes, very good. Alright, just like, go to Fort Williamette. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, Brotherhood. Take them out in the north. That's why I sent my ships up north. Actually, we're not getting anywhere so far. Oh, never mind. We just finished. Cool. So give me all your stats. And let's divide this up first. So, the Shoshone Nation. Because you were there, I will give you... I will be generous. There you go, Shoshone Nation. Uh, Western Brotherhood. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to take out the Brain's Wrath. I'm taking all of it. The Brain's Wrath. Nice. Uh, I guess I'll take this, this, and this. Mojave Chapter really doesn't deserve anything. They might have sent a few divisions up north. Maybe, maybe not. Um, next up, I want to give the brother Western Brotherhood all of the coast. Yeah, let's do that. I'll give them all of the coast. 
because they've already been pretty coasty. And it might make them look a little bit nicer. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. Uh, let's give them this. This is all about aesthetics for now. And I definitely want to take all of this portion. Yeah, take all of that. Oh, there's even lag in the peace conference. I love peace conferences, especially when using player-led peace conferences. Uh, looks like they might be able to use just a little bit more territory. That would be okay. I don't mind giving them a little bit of this as well. I'll definitely take this, though. Because without me, they would not have been able to push. Besides, I'm a leader. I could, I could demand whatever I want, right? Cool. So that's a left. Yeah, I'll take the rest of it. Cool. Awesome. There you go. I gave it most of the cuts so that they would feel good. Obviously, if we were, if we were to continue this campaign, I take out the Meyerlurk tribe and unite those lands. Um, actually, this looks, frankly, to be a little disgusting. Mark. Mark. Better. That's definitely better looking. Now, that's a nice brotherhood. But, that's the campaign, guys. The Brotherhood of Steel has won out somehow, some way. But, and the Children of the Gator there, Shoshone Nation still there. But whatever, I don't really care. But this campaign was fun. Especially, we started off so small as the Iron Alliance. Literally just, like, three tiles in New Sterling. But, we've been very successful. And you know what? I enjoy this campaign, like I said. And you know what? I hope you enjoy this campaign as well. Anyways, um, thank you very much for watching this campaign. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I have a new campaign starting in just a few minutes. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. You're watching this on Thanksgiving Day 2019. And have a great, great day.